Welcome back. We are looking at the uh, oil market, WTI. And as you can see, we have filled this gap. Um, now, the only thing that is uh, in the way from going higher is the Fibonacci retracement level uh, and the 200 uh, moving average. Um, I do expect a pullback uh, uh, sooner or later. Uh, if we look at the Fibonacci retracement, uh, we can see that at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement is just above here at the, at the uh, 43.3 dollar uh, range so this will um, play as a, a resistance and if this break breaks then we have the 200 moving average just above and uh, most likely that if this um, Fibonacci retracement breaks then then the 200 moving average will uh, be significant resistant uh, I do believe that we're looking for a range at this point. I do expect uh, oil to uh, start trading sideways. So it may well be that we test uh, this Fibonacci retracement and probably also the 200 moving average before we start going back down again. We can see that the RSI indicates that we are at 70 and that we are in an overbought uh, position. However, both the stochastic and the uh, uh, MACD indicate that uh, we have some upwards, uh, still some upwards momentum. Uh, so the uh, MACD is cro crossing the single line uh, upwards, indicating that we'll probably go, um, uh, the prices will increase. Um, and that probably makes sense. We will probably end up in the, a fairly overbought uh, position where we uh, hit the uh, 61.8 Fibonacci retracement uh, before we go back down. Um, however, if we look at the look at the, at the weekly chart, the weekly chart indicates that we have some room to do go up further go uh, further up. So we have the 50 moving average here uh, at the 47 dollars. And the, the uh, RSI is indicating for a weekly that we're not in the overbought uh, position. So if you look at the weekly chart, then the weekly chart indicates that we may go uh, much higher from here. Um, I would not take that bet. I would rather look at the, the daily chart and, and, um, and from the daily chart, I would, I would estimate that the most likely um, resistant level, first resistant is around the $43 uh, dollars at the Fibonacci level and also the 200 moving average. So, so this will most likely be our new, new um, area of trading between uh, 33 and and most likely $30 so this range so 10 15 dollar ranges there above so we'll go, probably go up go down go up and we'll trade sideways for 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 some time so hope you find this um, video helpful um, and good luck thank you very much